My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. When it comes to the products that I review, I base basically those decisions upon the feedback from you all. So oftentimes when a viewer writes in, they say, hey Luke, can you take a look at this? I will consider it. Sometimes I won't do it, sometimes I will. It really depends on the item, the product itself. Does it resonate with me? Well, recently I was contacted by a woman named Kimberly Hey, how you doing? Hope you're well. Oftentimes her comments are very popular. She gets a lot of thumbs up. She has good advice, good comments. Anyways, she wrote me about a product from Nemo. This product from Nemo. This is the Moonlander table. I have to say this, I am a sucker for these foldable, collapsible tables. There's a ton of tables out there. This is another one. As you can see, it comes with a storage pouch. Yeah, this is an interesting product. I've had this for a few months, I've tested it out, and I can say this. I like this product. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. There is one issue with this table, one big issue, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But for now, everyone, let's take a look at the Moonlander table from Nemo. Here's the table in its stowed form. This is 15 and a half inches long. It's 10 and a quarter inches wide, and it's roughly two inches deep. You can see the pouch here. You have a carry handle up here at the top. You have a single YKK zipper that opens this up. It features a drop hole. And this is the table. With the table folded, this is 14 and a half inches long, nine and a half inches wide, and it's about one and three quarter inches deep. Checking out the back side, you can see the hinges. That's the bottom. The hinges allow you to do this. And I'll do this again so you all can see what happens there. So as you open it up, these leg supports pop out. When you close it, they fold in. That right there is very cool. That's one aspect to this table that I really like, and it's one of the reasons why I got this. I love really cool designed folding tables. Collapsible wood stoves too, but yeah, that is really, really neat. You could see the leg supports, right? So this is so that you could set the table up at a low level, just like so. But check this out. Let's say that you want a table that's higher up. You're sitting in a chair, you need something that's higher up. You can do that. You have legs, one, two, three, four. These legs pop out, connect, and they go inside of these holes here and lock into place. And I'll show you that in just a moment. With the lower level leg supports, this stands right at four and a quarter inches tall. The tabletop is 18 and three quarter inches long, and it is 14 and a half inches wide. So you have the table, this is the low mode. Let's go ahead and raise it up. So you flip it upside down, grab the legs and pull them out. And then they go together just like that. Almost like a square tent pole. So once you have them put together, you will notice right here on the ends, they're curved. And that's so that it basically can go inside of these holes here and lock into place. Let me show you that again, but from this side. So from there, you could flip the table over and use it. And now this table is 16 inches tall. This table is made from nylon and aluminum, the carry case that is polyester. This table is a sort of green color. Nemo calls this color boreal. The weight of the table and the case, five pounds, and it has a weight limit of 100 pounds. So as you all can see, the height of this table is pretty good. If you're using a traditional foldable camping chair, this is the perfect height. I mean, it's perfect for your coffee. It's perfect for a stove to cook on and whatnot. And there's quite a bit of space as well with this tabletop. Overall, going to the pros of this product, the quality of this is very, very good. The materials themselves are excellent. The legs are excellent. The, the overall design of this is super, super smart. I mean, it really is, everyone. Quite a bit of thought went into this. I have not seen this sort of design before, the way that everything folds and unfolds. It's very clever. The way that Nemo did the two stage legs is also very clever. You have the four inch version, the 16 inch version, which locks the table together so it can't fold up with the longer legs in place. That is very smart. That is very, very smart. 
Thanks to the dual level legs, you can use this in numerous ways. You're not locked into just one way. If the legs were long and they stayed at 16 inches, this would be nothing more than a camp table. But because you have the shorter legs, you can use this inside of your tent. Let's say that you're out doing some luxury camping, something like that. You can have this little table right next to you. You can have your stove there, your cup of coffee, whatever you want, your phone, your battery bank. You can do anything that you want to. And I, and I like that about this table. The tabletop is very smooth. It's impervious, so it can't absorb water or fluids or anything like that. It's easy to clean. So if you're cooking up a steak, I mean, you get grease all over the place, no big deal, you can easily wash it. It really is a well thought out product and I'm pretty impressed with it. The attention to detail on this table is pretty insane. I've even noticed there are little Nemo logos down on the foot pads for like the lower leg supports. To set up this table, it's nice and easy. All you have to do is simply unfold it and then get the legs, set them up, put them in and twist. The only thing that I will say about the setup process is this, when it comes time to lock the legs into place, it's a little bit difficult. That last little step really does require two hands. Again, super simple. This is not going to give anybody any sort of trouble, but it will take two hands to lock this into place. Just as the setup process is simple, breaking it down is just as easy. You take the legs out, fold them up, put them in, fold this up, put it away. Nice and easy. Another pro for this table is the form factor itself. Overall, when it's all folded up, the size is not bad. You can easily fit this inside of your backpack. You can go hiking, you can go backpacking with this. This really only works when you're going out for like a minimal trip where you have a light loadout. You can add this table that's almost five pounds and it doesn't add a whole lot to your pack. That's when this shines. Otherwise, this is a car camping table. Talking about durability, so far this table has held up very well. There's a few scratches here and there, but that's to be expected. I mean, if you use this as a cutting board, there will be scratches on it, right? But overall, yeah, this has held up well after numerous months of use. The table itself is solid, it's hefty, it's not so lightweight that a strong breeze will blow it away or anything like that. Overall, I like the sturdiness of this table. The case is very well thought out, very good design, easy to use, excellent quality. Next, this table features a lifetime warranty. So if you ever have any sort of issues from this table, Hey, Nemo's got you covered. That is one of the great aspects about this company. And a good warranty from a good company should be considered before you purchase any product, especially for this price. Now let's jump over to the cons here because price is an issue. This table runs $150. When it comes to tables from name brand companies, this is right in that ballpark, really. I mean, you will find tables that cost more. You will find some tables that cost less. For an example, Big Agnes has a foldable table that's roughly the same price. Alps Mountaineering, which is more of a budget company, they have a table for $100. If you want to go the Chinese route, you could find tables for $20, $30, $40, and so on. Generally, with the Chinese tables, the quality of those are really hit and miss. The quality of this is excellent. Big Agnes, excellent. Alps Mountaineering, very good. In the end, when it comes to like value, when it comes to cost, it boils down to this. What do you want to spend? Is this table worth 150 bucks? Only you can answer that question. Another obvious con for this table is weight. This is almost five pounds. So if you want a table for backpacking purposes, this is not it. For camping purposes, no big deal. The weight adds to its sturdiness. Another con for this table would be the height. With the legs into place, this is only 16 inches. So if you're sitting in a high up chair, this may not work for you, but for your average, foldable camp chair just like this, it works perfectly fine. The final con that I have for this table is the tabletop itself. When you look at this, you can actually see the mold marks from the other side, from the bottom. It doesn't look the best, to be honest. For $150, I would expect the top of this table to look better, but it doesn't. You could see mold marks all the way around it. You could see some discoloration here and there, and that's on both sides, and it's basically at the same points. So it has something to do with like the manufacturing process. I mean, for 150 bucks, I would expect the top of this to look quite a bit better. In the end, does it really matter? Well, that's up to you. For myself, it does not, but I could see those mold marks, discoloration, it's kind of patchy, and like washing this does not fix that. The discoloration points will come back. So it's like lighter around here, over here. You have some discoloration here and here, mold marks here and here and here and here. So overall, I really like this table. I really do. And uh, Kimberly, thank you so much for putting this on my radar. 
I like this. As I mentioned before, I do have an interest in foldable tables, foldable stoves. I like the way that they're engineered. This sort of stuff does interest me. The way that these legs fold in, fold out, it's smart. It's really, really smart. By the way, everyone, another way of using this table is in the back of your vehicle for overlanding purposes. For an example, in my truck here, it works great in the back. I could have my bed, I can have the table right next to me. It really does work well. So to summarize, the design is great. The functionality is great. The form factor is also excellent. It's easy to deploy, easy to break down, and it has a lifetime warranty. So everyone, now it's your turn. Comment down below. What do you all think about this table for $150? Is it too expensive? If there's any products that you would like to put on my radar, go ahead and send me an email. I do appreciate it. That wraps it up for this episode, folks. I am done. Take care, strength and honor. Bye for now.